If there was a substance that made you want to crave another guy's dick or have someone else crave your dick, would you use it or use it on someone else? Well, guess what? There is an actual porn that has this exact same premise to it. I'm in love with a hero. Born people of the world, let's talk about the Raging Stallion movie Vice. This is directed by Steve Cruz. This is a bit of a controversial movie because of the aspect that it has drugs in it. There is a huge drug problem amongst the gay community, particularly things like him sex, and this movie does have some allusions to that. However, director Steve Cruz has addressed these issues, and there is two different versions of the movie being released. One version of the movie has a story aspect to it, while the other version is just plain sex. In an article by The Naked Sword, Steve Cruz made it very clear he had no intention to try to promote drug use in any way. This is just supposed to be a movie where someone takes a type of substance that makes them want dick immediately. Which I respect that, but at the same time I do see why some people may be opposed to it. With that being said, this movie consists of five different scenes. We have Damon Voss, Curtis Wolf, Damian Taylor, Derek Bolt, Sean Majors, Jack Hunter, Colby Keller, and Bo Banks. It's hard to pinpoint my favorite scene out of this movie, but I will probably say the one that I got off on the most was the third scene. Derek has such a fucking hot bottom, and for some reason just seeing him rip his shirt off and go all animalistic, that just really got me. I'm glad that Sean was used in two different scenes. He does make a pretty darn good crime boss. And I'll say it again, but everything that I've ever seen Damon Voss do, I mean, he is fucking amazing. I love him being a top. I love his hairy body and the fact that he's so muscular. And he really takes control in any scene that he's a part of. The three-way action taking place in the second scene, with Jack Hunter kind of being in the middle at the end, that was also really nice. Jack's a really thin guy, but he has a huge dick, so it kind of seems like it's a contradiction. Bo Bang's bottoming skills and just his blowing skills in general I mean, damn, like I said before, he really should win an award for that. The background and setting was really well done, and you can tell that Steve Cruz put some extra effort into that. I like the warehouse scenes, but I think I like the police department scenes much more. I guess because it has a whole professional setting to it, and that whole environment, it just kind of makes me harder. There are many people in the world who are dealing with drug abuse, so this may not be the perfect movie for you, but like I said, there are two different versions of it, and if you're triggered by seeing someone who uses any kind of substances, regardless of what it is, then you can watch the movie where you're just watching the sex. I I am also quite overjoyed that Steve Cruz did try to clarify that he himself has suffered from some problems in the past and he had no intention of making this some sort of allusion to some sort of substances out right now. I won't go any further into it than that. If you're interested in watching these scenes individually or watching the movie as a whole, if you want to go to RagingStallion.com and you can watch it from there. And with that, I will leave you. If you made it up to this point in the video, you're pretty darn awesome. Check out my Patreon site, patreon.com slash geek. You become one of my patrons, you get to see some extra pictures, videos, behind the scenes stuff live feeds and things like that and I only show them to patrons. Also check out my social media sites, my websites and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll see you guys later. Steve Cruz and Raging Stallion needs to do a sci-fi porn movie where it's based on zombies, but not like real zombies, because I know there's already a zombie porn out there that was really graphic, but I mean like the type of zombie movie where there's a guy who has sex with another guy and it just kind of infects him and he wants to suddenly have sex with the next guy he comes across and kind of spread it out that way. I think if they did it in the right way, it could be done really nicely and really super hot.